so hello friends hope you all are fine so today we will be learning about thrashing and various concepts about thrashing so let us see what is thrashing in computer science thrashing occurs when a computer's virtual memory resources are overused leading to a constant state of paging and page faults inhibiting most application level processing it causes the performance of the computer to degrade or collapse the situation can continue indefinitely until the user closes some running applications or the active processes free up additional virtual memory resources so now let us understand what we just read so if we talk about thrashing thrashing is directly linked to degree of multi programming the more and more processes we bring into the cpu it will automatically increase my cpu utilization so uh, let us understand this how it all happens uh, so like this is my cpu and these are the spaces in my cpu so uh, if like if we talk if we bring uh, one process two process and three process if we are bringing uh, these three processes in the ram and one or two processes from this goes for input output operation let us consider that these two processes here goes for input output operations io operations so we shift what we do is we shift these processes from the process state to block state and our cpu becomes idle at this time when these two processes are doing their uh, input output so cpu sits idle at this time which means the throughput this at at the moment becomes less and automatically the performance will degrade the performance will degrade so what we need to do is that we should keep our cpu busy so for keeping cpu busy we need to bring more and more processes into this ram so what we need to do is for this keeping the cpu busy we need to bring more and more processes into the ram at this time and uh, but if we see our ram is very much limited so i can't bring the whole process into the ram so uh, like if imagine i am having a ram of 4g 4gb in my pc and i am having two processes of size 6gb and one more of size 4gb so at a single movement i can't run both of these processes into my ram so i can't bring every of this process into ram so for solving this problem what we can do so uh, for solving this problem we have a concept of paging so what we do in paging is that we uh, divide our process into pages and bring them into ram so what we do is that like this is my process 1 process 2 process 3 and process 4 so what i will do is that i will divide my process into n number of pages so 2 so here what i have done is like uh, i have taken four processes so let's say i will i like i was having 100 processes so first what we will do is we will divide all these processes into pages and then we will bring those pages into our ram so this is my ram so now what i will do is i will bring these pages like page what i will do is bring page 1 from process 1 and similarly bring page 2 from process 2 i can even bring uh, page 1 from process 3 and page page 1 from process 4 so uh, what this will do is here to max so what we will do is it will bring a single page from every process into my ram so here 
it will maximize my cpu utilization so here how to maximize the degree of multi program see we have only one way to do that if i bring only one page from each process i am having into ram so what i did here was that only that i brought a single page from every process i was having into the ram and uh, so what it shows that whatever process i am having or the maximum process i was having all of it all of its involvement will be inside the ram so every process will think that it is inside ram so what we can see here that the page 1 from process 1 is in ram page here we took page 2 so page 2 uh, from process 2 was in ram page 1 of process 3 was in ram and page 1 of process 4 was in ram so here we can see that every process was in ram and every process it was thinking that it is in ram so if even if we are having a program of 6 gb and a program two program if we consider of 6 gb and we are having a ram of 4 gb so what we can do is we can run uh, we can take pages from these programs and run it in a cpu and after that also i will be having some space left to run any other process in my cpu or main memory so every process here is thinking that it is inside ram but the whole process is not in the ram only one or two pages from it are brought into the brought into the ram so it gives me an advantage that whatever cpu asks me for a particular page i will provide that page to the cpu like if cpu is asking for page number 2 i can provide that if cpu is asking page 3 of process 2 i can provide that page 2 of process 3 i can even provide that so by this i can easily give different pages of different processes into my ram and it will seem that every process is running so uh, but the problem which comes here is is in the worst case scenario so what happens in the worst case scenario is that uh, like uh, what will happen is that i brought page number 1 of process p1 into ram basically what i did was brought page number 1 of every process i was having into ram so with all this i was i was e easily achieving my maximum cpu utilization so what i did was like uh, i was having this ram and these were my processes to p3 before and the first page from every process i brought it inside the ram so p1 p2 p3 and p4 so i brought every first page inside the ram so it seemed like every process is inside the ram but so it will achieve maximum cpu utilization but what the main problem here comes is that is the whole process present inside the ram no it is not present only some part of this process is running inside the ram like only page 1 here is inside the ram if the cpu asks for page 2 of process 1 or any other process so we will not be able to provide that so this is called page fault so what happens here is that when uh, like this is page 2 of process 1 is 3 page 4 so if the process is running in my main memory and at the same time the process the cpu needs that page 2 from my process 1 and i am not able to provide it to the cpu or cpu hits that page so it is called page fault so in page fault uh, whenever page fault occurs what we do to solve this is page page fault service so every time a page fault occurs we have to do a page fault service and it takes a lot of time uh, while doing or dealing with all these processes so what i mean to say is that uh, 
we will bring the page from the hard disk into the memory and it takes a lot of time like every time when the page is not found in my process so i will have to bring that page from my hard disk to, to the main memory and it is not easy it is very much time taking process so one point will come where we would have brought more and more pages in the in this process where we have to maximize our cpu utilization but whatever page cpu is demanding is not present in the ram so what we did was uh, like we have brought page 1 of every process in our ram uh, we brought page 1 of every process but now what is happening that cpu is demanding page 2 of process 1 page 2 of process 2 but we are not able to provide these pages so uh, uh, what we were doing that we were providing these pages for maximum cpu utilization but now when a cpu is asking for some other page we are not able to provide that so one point will come where we would have uh, like we would have brought more and more number of pages but the point uh, the page which cpu want is not present in the ram so as soon as the page is not present in the ram it is called page fault and we service page fault so it takes a lot of time now uh, so as we understood what was thrashing to know more clearly about thrashing first we need to know about page fault and swapping as i already told you about what is what was page fault so let's see here we know every program is divided into some pages a page fault occurs when a program attempts to access data or code in its address space but it, it is not currently located in the system ram so what this means was uh, like we earlier understood it so page 1 is present of every process but if like every process is divided to some pages and a page fault occurs when a program attempt to access data or code like access any data or any code in its address space in its address space but it is currently located in the it is not currently located in the system ram so it is not currently located here and if it has to bring it if it has to bring it that is called page fault so and what is swapping here so uh, in swapping whenever a page fault happens the operating system will try to fetch that page from the secondary memory and try to swap it with one page inside the ram this process is called swapping so what will happen that like page 1 page 1 of process so every page 1 was present but like my cpu is needing page 2 so what will have that uh, from the secondary memory it will bring the page and swap it from page 1 to page 2 so it is swapping and thrashing is when the page fault and swapping happens very frequently at a higher rate so when both of these processes which we learned page fault and swapping occurs at a very higher rate than the operating system has to spend more time swapping these pages so this state in this operating system is known as thrashing and because of thrashing cpu utilization is going to be reduced or negligible so what we were trying to achieve is going down here we were trying to achieve cpu utilization but because of this because of paging we are having page fault and swapping and after that we are having thrashing so the whole operating system which we are using will become busy while this all this thrashing happens so the operating operating system will become busy in servicing the page fault like if we see this graph below here so this is our cpu utilization this is our degree of multi programming so like we see here that at a particular point when the cpu utilization is maximum so here it is maximum and degree of multi programming is any at any particular point so we can see that after the cpu reaches its maximum utilization it is immediately the graph is coming down so when the pages are not found and too many page faults have occurred so the graph is showing downward so this is called thrashing so so the whole operating system will become busy in servicing this page fault so obviously due to this the performance of the system will degrade so while all this if two or more uh, like process while uh, like if we see uh, 
here. We have our RAM and like earlier we understood these were my pages. So uh, one page two three one two three three page one so like we are having uh, different pages from different processes here f2 or more process goes for input output at the time cpu will not set idle it has many processes in ready state so it will pick them from ready state and put them in running state if any of these two processes or any of single process goes for io operation so it will pick from the ready state processes and put it in the main memory for running state which will make my cpu utilization very well it will increase the cpu utilization will increase gradually but a point will come when my cpu utilization will be maximum and the degree of multi programming will be at any particular point but after that there will be an instant thrashing so just now we understood by this graph that uh, what will happen that CPU will take pages from my ready state and put it in the processes. It will start running and many page faults like many page faults would occur. This will go for IO or page fault would occur. It would access the page from here and what will happen? The CPU utilization will, will increase gradually. The CPU will utilize the number of process will increase. The CPU utilization will increase with it. So uh, what will happen? There will be a point at which the CPU utilization will be at maximum and degree of multiprogramming will be at any particular point. It can be at any particular point. And after this maximizing, maximizing the CPU utilization, what will happen that it will gradually start decreasing. Suddenly it will come down. So all this gradually coming down is the thrashing. So this is what we call thrashing. So thrashing means like too many page fault occurrence because page hit decreased and page fault became frequent and because of page fault the system is wasting all the time in servicing the page faults. So basically that is thrashing. So in that case the CPU will sit idle and due to which the CPU utilization will decrease suddenly. So this is thrashing like we earlier saw in the graph that uh, it is when it is at max our CPU utilization and this is degree of multi programming. So when CPU utilization at it is at it max, it will suddenly drop down and this is called thrashing and all this happens during page fault and swapping when too many page fault occurs and too many swapping happens so it will and the cpu utilization will be at maximum so it will suddenly go down or decrease and due to which what will happen that cpu utilization will decrease suddenly so the basic con concept involved is th is that if a process is allocated too few frames too few frames then there will be too many too frequent page faults like if I am just allocating this is my process one and these are the different pages and I am just allocating page one into my RAM. So what is happening that I am allocating just page one and if my CPU needs my page two, three and four of process one. So what will happen that too frequent page faults would occur and as a result no valuable work would be done by the CPU and the CPU utilization would fall drastically so it will uh, what will happen that I was going for CPU max CPU utilization but what is happening here that it is it will fall drastically so here what we can uh, do is that the long term scheduler would then try to improve my CPU utilization by loading some more processes into the memory thereby increasing the degree of multi programming so what is the job of long term scheduler that it keeps the process from ready state for taking it into CPU or my main memory.
so unfortunately this would result in further decrease in the cpu utilization as many page faults in swapping would occur and triggering a chain reaction of higher page faults followed by an increase in the degree of multi programming called thrashing so what are the algorithm that uh, we use during thrashing so the first is global page replacement so since global page replacement can bring any page it tries to bring more pages whenever thrashing is found so what happens that whenever uh, thrashing is found uh, during the process it so global page replacement algorithms what it does it it brings more and more pages but what actually will happen is that no process get enough frames and as a result the thrashing will increase more and more so therefore the global page replacement algorithm is not suitable when thrashing happens now if we see local page replacement so unlike the global page replacement algorithm local page replacement will select pages which is own which is only belong to that that there is a chance to reduce the thrashing so what it does it it does the selective task it selects the pages which are needed which are only needed for replace for uh, replacing the thrashing but it is proven that there are many disadvantages if we use local page replacement so therefore the local page replacement is just an alternative to global page replacement which we are using earlier so what are the causes of thrashing so programs or workloads may cause thrashing and it results in severe performance problems like if cpu utilization is too low we increase the degree of multi programming by introducing new systems a global page replacement as we read earlier the cpu scheduler sees the decreasing cpu utilization and increases the degree of multi programming and because of which thrashing happens more and more cpu utilization is plotted against the degree of multi programming so as the degree of multi programming increases cpu utilization also increases but what happens it helps in more and more thrashing if the degree of multi programming is increased further thrashing sets in and the cpu utilization drops sharply so like we saw in that graph uh, when it was at maximum it sharply or suddenly dropped so at this point to increase the cpu utilization and to stop thrashing we must decrease the degree of multi programming so how we can eliminate thrashing or how we can remove thrashing so either we will increase the size of the main memory but if we increase the size of main memory this will be very much time taking and costly process we we can not easily uh, replace the size of main memory every time in a pc or laptop it is not easy to regularly update main memory it can do it in a long run but not constantly so the next thing comes in that is the long term scheduler which we talked about earlier so like there are, uh, its responsibility is to bring more and more process into the ready state if we decrease the speed of a long term scheduler means if we don't maximize it the degree of multi programming in that we make it a bit less so what will happen it will never touch the maximum utilization so obviously if it never touch the maximum utilization so we could save it from thrashing so uh, like what was happening earlier that in in this graph uh this is cpu utilization and this is degree degree of multi programming so what was happening that it was going to maximum and then suddenly drop dropping which caused this caused thrashing but what we will do with long term scheduler is that we will make it to make it to uh, like we will set it a bit lesser so that it doesn't we will it doesn't reach this maximization it will we will make it a less so it could save us from thrashing or we could even decrease the number of applications which we are running so what are the disadvantages of thrashing so it increases the degree of multi programming system throughput decreases page fault rate increases effective access time increases this phenomenon is show so like here we can see that uh like here if we see in allocation of frames each process needs a minimum number of pages like a uh, process needs a minimum number of pages to run so like if we consider a single os with 128k memory or uh, which are having with page size of 1k 
so os will take 35k and levy 93 frames from the user process so what will happen the first 93 page faults would get free frames because we left it empty uh, when the free frame list is exhausted a page replacement algorithm is used to allocate the frame, uh, the frame. we earlier studied about what what are the page replacement algorithms so what are the constraints so we cannot allocate more than the total number of available frames we cannot allocate the number of frames we are having we cannot allocate more than that so only minimum number of frames that can be allocated this is the number that is defined by instruction set or architecture it is uh, every it is defined everywhere in the architecture so as the number of frames allocated decreases the page fault also increases so thank you and this was all my process i hope you learned from it